everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Yeah. And today I'm visiting Calvin in Calvin's fish tank. Calvin, how long have you had this fish tank? I think you bear it for like two months or something. There seems to be a problem. He said his tank was too green to see the fish. And we're not sure why, but we're going to talk about different ways to problem solve this. Okay, Calvin? Okay. So a couple different things that could be going on. The bio load could be too much. They could be have been overfed. They might have. That may have happened, could have contributed. Somebody may have forgot to turn the light off. Probably. So we're going to check this out and we're going to do a little cleaning. Let's go check out the tank. So I think we figured out what the issue was. When I was here and setting it up and I came back and did maintenance, I guess a couple months after that, and the supplies that I gave them was like the baster to scoop out some poop, you know, spot poop cleaning. Um, I think we talked about a water change, but here's the thing. When you're talking to people who've never had a, a tank, just saying doing a water change they were under the impression with the baster that that was the water change. Which is totally my responsibility. That was my fault. I should have explained it just a tad bit better. So it's been about nine months and it probably hasn't had a water change that whole time. So this is right after the 90% water change. It's a little cloudy, but I can already tell that the fish are so much happier. And then I had her send me some pictures the next day. And these are the pictures that she sent me the next day. It still looked pretty good. Then when her siphon came in, she called me that it came in. So I came over and the tank was already starting to look a little green again. So I was glad we had the siphon. You know, as you saw, I did a 90% water change and now I'm going to do about a 60% water change. And now she, she's going to start doing a water change once a month um, with the gravel vac. So she went out and got this gravel vac, which I'm pretty stoked about. So this is very indicative of a lot, how, why a lot of people leave the hobby. They get frustrated, their tank turns green, they give up, or their fish die, that's it, they're done. I'm so happy that they didn't give up and they called and asked for help again. And now I've explained what a gravel vac is. I should have done a better job. Now that we have the gravel vac, I'm able to show them exactly what to do. You know, my whole quest is to not give up, to keep going, to get people into the hobby, not to make them give up and go away. So um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill this up again and we'll see how it looks. It'll probably have to take some settling down, but let's check it out. So yeah, everything's all stirred up again, but I think it still looks 10 times better than it did before. And I'm gonna get some pictures of it, how it looks in a couple days. Okay, I feel a lot better. The tank is back on track and Calvin is loving his fish tank again. Mission accomplished. Well, let me tell you guys, that was, that was crazy because my whole mission is to get people to enjoy the hobby. Don't give up. Things happen, keep moving forward. And here I am, I, I, I feel like I set Calvin up for failure. But he doesn't feel like a failure and his tank is not a failure and I think all worked out very well in the end. Thanks for coming along and checking out the update on Calvin's fish tank. I'm so glad it all worked out well and that Calvin's still loving his fish. I'll see you next time. 